Coming up on Metrofile this week, happy birthday to the former chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Chief John Odige Oyebu. And 60 happy chairs to the co-founder of Lapis Lazuli Ministries, Dr. Mrs. Mina Belema Bajomo. And the second edition of the Locked Afrik Polo concludes in London. Fun, sophistication yes. and class all mm. coming to you on the show today, the very last in the month of August. Very true. Welcome to Metrofa. It's always an amazing time right here. So tell a friend to tell a friend to tune in because you're about to watch our show today. Yes, and if you miss it, well, you miss out. It's the Certainly. last edition, as Oge said, and I'm super excited. September will bring amazing All things the good for tidings us. that we are Amen. asking God for. Amen. <laughs> All right, so today we'll be celebrating personalities on the show. But while you enjoy, don't forget, always watch out for flash photography. I am Anne Umawadu. And I'm Oge Tukwosi. A warm welcome to this program. Okay, it's all celebration on the show today, so let's join the first civilian governor of Edo State and the former chairman of the All Progressive Congress. We're talking about Chief John Odige Oyegu. He celebrated his chest birthday. Take a look. A special Thanksgiving Mass at the St. Paul's Catholic Church in Benin City, the Edo State capital, for the 80th birthday celebration of Chief John Odige Oyegu. The former governor of Edo State, who is also the former chairman of the All Progressives Congress, the APC, was celebrated by his people, the Edo people, in a special way, alongside his wife, Victoria, and other members of his family. The Bishop of the Benin Catholic Archdiocese, the Most Reverend Father Augustine Akubweze, led other bishops to celebrate Chief Oyegu who has joined the exclusive club of octogenarians. For a man like Chief Oyegun, who has paid his dues both in the civil service and as a politician, it's no surprise that members of the political class top the list of the guests who made it to this special occasion. The host governor, Mr. Godwin Obaseki and wife, Betsy, his Undo State counterpart, Mr. Ruti Miyakiridenu, including the Deputy Governor of Edo State, Mr. Philip Schwaibu, made the day special for the celebrant. For us, we do not know how to say thank you to him because of what he has meant and what he has done, not only for us in Edo State, but for the country as a whole. But we trust that God, in his infinite mercies, will continue to thank you and grace your life. The governor goes ahead to make these pronouncements. Sir, for the contributions you have made to our dear state, the government of Edo State has decided to name the Public Service Academy, which is under construction after you. We will now invite His Excellency Chief John Odige Oyegu. I have made it a principle of my life that whatever I am called to do, I will do to the best of my ability. Whenever I can help, I will help to the best of my ability. And that whatever human being I come across under any circumstance, I will under no circumstance do injury to.
Chief John Odige Oyegun is very much respected in the political circle. His political achievements resonate with politicians across political divides. It's a leader. It's a leader that has lived by example and it's a very honest man. And we're all here to celebrate his 80th birthday. We have come to honor him and to join him to thank God Almighty. The 80th birthday celebration is not over just yet. The party continues at a reception. This beautifully decorated hall played host to even more friends and well-wishers. And then they welcome the celebrant. The Minister of Health, Dr. Osagi Ehaniri, sets the ball rolling with a short speech on the qualities of a man who he describes as a perfect gentleman. Chief Oyegun, as has been said very clearly today, is a man of many parts. He has distinguished himself in the Federal Civil Service, rising to the pinnacle in an unblemished service. He has also risen in governance to the position of governor of a dual state and he also became the chairman of the ruling party, the APC. This is the moment to cut his cake. Long life, greater prosperity because he's prosperous already. Just for he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. And then the dance floor is open. The dance was non-stop as they continued to celebrate him. A week later, they gather again, this time in the nation's capital, Abuja. With the arrival of the Vice President, Professor Yemio Shimbaju, the event gets off to a good start, with renowned diplomat Chief Ibrahim Gambari giving the keynote speech. The biggest lesson, in my view, that we should learn from this remarkable trajectory of Chief Odigwe Oyugun this past 80 years is in his own words which I want to quote in a recent interview which he gave. He said, and I quote, he would like to be remembered 
as somebody who did his best to prove that honesty and hard work, integrity, pays, and you don't have to play by the rules of the generality. In this hall are governors, lawmakers, civil servants, former governors, and other well-respected Nigerians. And then the dignitaries joined him to cut his cake. In the name of the Father, a befitting way to celebrate Chief John Odege Oyego, a man who many have grown to love and respect, and as he celebrates, we join other Nigerians to wish him a happy birthday. Well, we say happy birthday to him and all the best. Yes, we wish him the very best. Yeah.